Today I'm going to bring some details regarding my uh, cross-country bike. It's a bike that I bought about four months ago from Canyon. It came from Koblenz factory in a box. So uh, I was able to assemble it by my own. However, I exchanged many, many parts of, it, of this. So I will try to explain why and what benefits they give me when it comes to cross-country races. Uh, but starting from the heart of this bike, which is a frame, so this is the Canyon Lux uh, SL model. It has exactly the same geometry like the highest model SLX, which is uh, well known because Matthew Vanderpool is riding on the same uh, geometry uh, frame uh, on, on a professional level. The only difference between those two frames is that uh, this one comes with RockShox uh, uh, front and rear uh, um, suspension and the second one comes with Fox which is a bit lighter um, and also it is made from a bit different uh, carbon fibers it's a bit you know, heavier um, but anyway it's still light, still stiff, still very responsive so I'm quite uh, satisfied from the way it rides the thing is that I still have some a bit of you know mixed feelings regarding how full suspension bike uh, behaves uh, on the track uh, in, uh, in comparison to hard type bikes because it's my first uh, first full suspension bike so far I only you know I've been only riding on uh, hard types mm. so what I can say is uh, I feel a bit more safe, uh, if I can use that word, when it comes to uh, uh, downhills. Uh, it's, uh, I think this, this uh, rear damper, rear shock absorber gives you some feeling that uh, you are a bit um, more glued to the ground, uh, so maybe it's uh, you know uh, deceptive, but uh, this is my general feeling about, about uh, you know, um, full suspension frame so far. Uh, it's not that uh, you know light as you can expect from the harder bikes, which may goes down below eight kilograms. This is roughly about ten kilograms. Of course, I exchanged, I replaced everything apart. You know, uh, the dampers in this bike. So starting from the from the rear, we have a, a no limited wheel set. Which come, they, they came from my old uh, hard type bike, which was Cube 29er. Uh, these are carbon um, uh, carbon wheels, uh, really good, really light, about 140 grams. Uh, they are tubeless ready. Of course, I, I have tubeless tires in here with uh, sealed with some Trezado sealant, so I, I can ride with really really low pressure. Uh, which makes the ride really comfortable. Uh, the only drawback I can see is that I can hear is the noise. Yeah. So as you can hear, the rear hub is pretty noisy. So uh, this no limited component is using for some types of the wheel set uh, kind of magnetic bearings. Uh, I don't know. Technically, um, you know how it is built, but it, it's really noisy. So uh, it's a bit uncomfortable if you would like to discuss something uh, riding with you know low speed uh, with someone. Uh, but uh, the good thing is that everyone hears that you are approaching, so you don't need something like, uh, for example, a ring on the handlebar. Uh, so yeah, when it comes to stiffness, performance, res responsiveness, they are still really good. I see no reason to exchange those type, uh, those wheels. Uh, they uh, they are really, really, really nice. So uh, the drivetrain here we have a full uh, X01 and X mixed X01 and XX1 uh, SRAM group. So we have rear dealer rear which is XX1, it is the, the black edition, also XX1 black cassette, uh, 10 by 50 cox, uh, so quite, quite good range, 50%, uh, 500%, so really good. We have this very famous gold 
addition of xx1 uh, chain. And here we have crank set which is x01. x01 group are uh, roughly the same weight like xx1, nothing to say about this. Uh, apart that this is full carbon, uh, in opposite to Shimano, I believe the Shimano still doesn't uh, doesn't build on a carbon crank sets even in a, in a X, X, XTR group uh, pedals pedals are much better than my former X, uh, XTR uh, so these are these are they come from look company uh, model extra race carbon titanium which means that the platform is made from carbon and the axle is made from titanium so it's about the same weight like XTR, but we have a much bigger surf, surf surface. So here, uh, I would say this is this is already proven. I, my feeling is that my power is transferring much better to the crank set than than uh, in case of smaller pedals, especially because uh, I have quite a big foot, like 47 in uh, European scale. Uh, okay, from the from the handlebars, we have the well-known ESI chunky, extra chunky grips. Uh, they are exceptionally good when it comes to sh shock absorbing. I got no mm, pain in my wheels. <clears throat> uh, and the braking system. Uh, I decided to use Magura. Originally in this model, I, we, I had a SRAM level, uh, level TL model, as I remember. These are Magura brakes, uh, the German company. Mm. You are capable to brake with just one finger, which makes your right really, really effective. Um, so I have nothing to say like, oh, they are excellent, much better than XT brakes. Actually, this the feeling is pretty much the same, like in case of XT brakes, they might be a little bit lighter. Um, of course, uh, when it comes to locking system, we have the twin lock here. So if I push, click this switch, uh, my uh, rear damper is blocked, also front is blocked. Pretty good, but sometimes I get in. I think there, it would be neat. It would be good to have a just you know separate block blocker for the <clears throat> front damper or separate broker for the rear damper. Um, but yeah, you know, in general it's very good. <clears throat> I decided to replace a, 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 a bridge in here. Uh, so this is the DEDA 20 degree um, bridge, which, uh, which is a bit better from the standard one, uh, <clears throat> which is too high. Uh, the angle is uh, really, really, really big. The reverse angle, so uh, you have the better feeling of the of the ground, uh, especially in <coughs> when des descending from the from the hills. Um, when it comes to the set post and the saddle, uh, the, the aluminium one I replaced by the um, Ritchie Super Logic uh, carbon fiber set post. Uh, I didn't decide to use uh, on a common post. The, the, the fixed one is good enough for me. I got enough good technique to 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 ride downhills uh, without the need of lowering the set post. And what is most important for me is the saddle. Uh, it affects comfort really much. Uh, we have um, carbon fiber rails in here. This is a Romin model. It come from specialized, uh, really light, really stiff, really comfortable. Mm. Yeah, th that's basically it regarding this bike. Uh, so currently we have to wait a bit for some, you know, uh, races. Uh, for now it's uh, for everybody, for everyone it's a difficult time. Uh, but uh, I hope it will, it will end somewhere in the future. Thank you, Mike.